But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV there. I see them. Yopo. Me ma wa kwa ba edi ba pen dream TV. So make sure say obe subscribe to channel. No no click the bell. So say the the news to our on subscribe to me. I can in terms of what the affair. So make sure say obe like it. Now nah, what comment? No one share. I'm a full frost on Saka. Now comment session. How so? No person watch it. I'm a bit to me. I do. I do. I'm sure. I to hold on. Now man for so. I'm a bit kind kind. Now only say pen dream TV there. Any in some of your cause or Ghana and politics. I'm only a day banner. I'm Saka. I'm a day abroad. Tina so. Me me video. I in Saka. I person no watch it. I'm a day banner. Tina. Me one more day. I'm sure. So be here video we. I'm a nice year we here. Now watch it. I'm a comment session. I say. Video. Randy, mm. you know, earlier when I was talking about uh, some interesting developments at Ghana Web, and it's, it's telling, you know, you know, we've been talking, my, my brother and colleague Goku Jeto Ablakwa has been going on and on and on about state capture. You know, the MPP is so desperate to win power. Eh? They, they don't believe that Dr. Baumia and Dr. Napo on their own strengths can win them power. They don't believe it. They don't believe that the two of them, Napo and Baumia together, they, they don't have what it takes to win the MPP the election. So they need, they need to capture every aspect of the state. You can see state capture happening in almost all our state institutions. Now, even, even the media, you are at risk. Why? Randy, Ghana Web is part of a conglomerate called African Web Technologies. Hmm? Now they have My Cameroon Web my Tanzania web, Ghana web, all those webs, is run by a Dutch man, Rob Bellat. And he's run this thing for over 25 years. Now his partner, he has a partner called Mark. They had a dispute and they went to court and he was supposed to pay some compensation to Mark. So he decided he wanted to get some investors to hold shareholding in the company so that he could offset use that injection of cash to offset whatever uh, damages he had to pay his partner so he asked people around kicked him out of the company through one of our colleagues in parliament you mean they have bought it somebody <coughs> you mean that somebody who's npp has bought his shares is that what you mean in fact he and 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 you see, I'll let you understand. It appears to be that he was looking to sell part of his shares in the Africa Web Development, mm -hmm. Africa Web Technologies. Mm -hmm. Now, the people here who were negotiating for him mm -hmm. decide to go behind him and instead of it being Africa Web Technologies, go and transfer shares of Ghana Web because Africa Web Technologies has no value for them. You see, why, why am I saying this? Ghana Web is seen to be a very neutral platform for news in Ghana that carries both NDC and MPP opinions. Mm. Now, what they've done, and I have this letter. This is a letter dated 25th of June. Okay. The same day, there was supposed to be the Zoom between Dr. Baumia and... and uh, what is the Kapu point Fadi. you want to make with the letter? Our colleague in Parliament paid 1 million euros. No, please. To buy... Sam, Sam George. Sam George. Randy, Sam yeah, George. Uh, let me finish. Yes. You've not heard what I'm saying. Yes. I said our colleague in parliament yes. on the MPP side yes. paid 1 million euros yes. to take over Ghana Web. Yes. Has installed his wife as yes. now the managing director, the, the, the CEO, yes. and his wife's brother yes. by name David H. Yes. as now the managing director. What is wrong with that? It's important that Ghanaians now know yes. that Ghana Web is no longer that objective mouthpiece. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Mm. Since this acquisition, and even Rob in his letter, and I'll read his letter. That, that's the CEO. So don't, Sam George is a politician. I'll read Rob's letter to you, portions of his letter. No, I want to understand the point you're making. The point yes. I'm making is that right now, Ghana Web has become like daily searchlights. Is an extension of the MPP propaganda wing. And look, don't take my word for it. This is Rob's letter, and I think I've sent it to Annie. Dear former ADPU staff, 
on 19th uh, of June. Uh, and you don't show the letter. On 19th of June, I requested Matilda Nate in my capacity as the legal owner of ADPU to hand over assets of ADPU to a newly appointed director of Who ADPU. Who is this letter addressed to? All staff. It's a general letter to all the staff. Uh, staff of? Of the Africa, uh, ADP, which is the, Af the, the, the parent company of Ghana Web. ADPU? Yes. What's that? What's ADP? Uh, okay. Now, let me just read. Mm -hmm. Under my stewardship, ADPU supported the principles of GhanaWeb.com being a neutral and objective medium. I am afraid GhanaWeb.com will now digress into a mouthpiece of the MPP, obviously with the intention to let the MPP win the 2024 election. This approach cannot work because GhanaWeb.com will lose the patronage of the NDC voters, but yet it is being implemented by Mr. Enchi and the disloyal former management team of ADP. You can confirm that this is the letter I'm reading. It's not my words. Oh, I can confirm that you are holding a piece of paper with a signature on it. Okay. But the because words I read oh, are from it. I, I don't have a problem. The words <laughs> I read are from it. The man, the man, the man <laughs> is not, not, not blank from a uh, <laughs> examination report because he has not been in I'm, I'm surprised at this panel. I'm showing you the letter. Randy. A so, piece of paper with writing on it. Important Ghanaians know. No know. letterhead. That nothing. That is important Ghanaians know. Uh, maybe it's a memo. Oh, is this is a memo? Yes. It's to, it's, it's is a it to memo. the staff of it's a, ADP? It's, it's, it's an internal yeah. memo. Bracket, former ADP yes. you staff. It's an internal memo. What, what does it even mean? Okay, when you don't understand, I'll explain to you. My, so, Andy, my, my okay, comprehension so, so what you are saying is that... It's unbelievable. Because Ghana, I can, you Ghana know what I tell yes. you? Yes. Ghana went, mm -hmm. carried out an interview mm -hmm. with Fifi Fiavi Kweti. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where he did damning, a damning expose on government. Mm -hmm. Ghana Web's new CEO, David Entry, uh, MD, David Entry, mm -hmm. has directed that that should not be played until they get a response from the MPP. That's not how Ghana Web used to operate. So I'm just saying that people should now go back since middle of June and go and look at the headlines on Ghana Web. You will realize that Ghana Web is no longer the Ghana Web it used to be. It is now a mouthpiece of the MPP. And I'm stating this for the record because we will get to that place where people will begin to cite Ghana Web. It's no longer the old Ghana web. Management has changed. If you want me to name the MP who's bought it, I can no, name him. No, no, no. no. Rani, unless I, but I've named, unless I, I see, I have named his his brother-in-law. So anybody that, who knows no, knows him. I'm saying that. He's a medical doctor. Until I see the. He's a medical doctor. Unless I unless I see. Very thick and tall medical doctor on the it's other side. Randy, okay. okay. you yeah. see, this propaganda, mm. uh, you'll be exposed. Mm. Ah. Expose that word. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not oh, it. but if, if assuming without admitting, because I don't know. Mm. So you don't know that, that you, somebody is bought. You used Ghana to be the vice chairman of, 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 of the what, 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 committee on what, 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 before what, he left. What's your big? I, 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 I'm what is your big, What is your big deal really? And what is a big deal about it really? You are capturing state media. Oh, or really? public media. Yes, TV3. But it's a private. Oh, Randy, 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 Randy. But now web is a private. Yes, but now they are capturing it. You state assets. And you should let people know. That what? That it is no longer the it's no longer the objective mouthpiece. But Ghana Web has always it. been private. Yes, but they have always run a neutral policy. And I'm telling you that the interview with Fifi Kweti that was conducted on the 18th of June. Why have they not published it up till now? They are waiting for a response Randy, from the Baumia campaign. Randy, what are the antecedents of TV3? What is it? Who You're is TV3? You. I'm You're asking you. Yes. Is it not a mouthpiece of your party? Oh, right now TV3. Ah, but that's exactly what party. they do. Go and check their Saturday programs and everyday programs. The ones you go Muntia on. Muntia TV or Muntia Radio or somewhere where they call Everybody it. Everybody knows. Radio XYZ. Ah. But that's so the only thing I'm not doing Somebody has bought it. And according to you, uh, it's not going to be. Oh, I'm coming. I'm I'm coming. I'm I don't have a radio. problem. As I see radio say, and all yes. that. So, so if Ghana Web, somebody So has now let us put oh, Ghana Web please, in that please. category. I don't have a problem at all. Let's not paint a picture of them being neutral. That's the point I'm making. People keep going to Ghana Web as a neutral source. Now they no longer are. Say, not my own who, word. Says who? Rob Bellat, the former owner of Ghana Web. Says who? That people go to Ghana Web because of its neutrality. Ghana Web publishes stories from all sorts of places. And now there's an editorial so, policy so, not to allow that happen. So That's if the owner takes a decision, what's your, what, what really is your problem? Mm-hmm.
what it really is your problem is what as as a as, as a member as a ranking member deputy ranking on, on on the parliamentary committee you i come need and to let the Ghanaian people know speak to this matter since somebody has committed some crime ah no i have not said there is a crime the I'm ownership of Ghana web has are... changed i don't know i'm and telling I'm not you confirming it because i don't know with this piece of paper it goes beyond the piece of paper you can call it but a piece that's, of paper. Your, that's what you brought out here mm. To prove that Ghana Web's ownership has yes, changed. I'm telling you, no. Piece of that's, paper. That's not it. I'm, it's fine. I'm giving you so the you can put whatever. Uh, see. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm telling you, and I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. if you don't know, you can choose to sit here and, I mean, play Sergio Ramos. That's fine. But the bottom line is, you, ha you cannot dispute the fact. Because you don't know. And I'm saying on authority that it's been bought... And I've mentioned the new, the new CEO and the new MD. And I'm saying to you that right now the editorial policy has changed. That Ghana Web will no longer run stories that are critical of the NPP without an official response. That is not how Ghana Web used to operate. It, like you said, you don't know. Ghana Web used to operate a blogging system. Where bloggers were allowed to run their independent stories. Who work for Ghana Web. Run their independent stories and post them online. Whether they were critical of government or not. And that has always been it. Ghana Web has had stories that are critical of the NDC, critical of the MPP. And I'm saying to you that now, since this acquisition, I said on the 18th of June, Ghana Web ran an interview with Fifi Fiabikwete, the general secretary of the NDC. That story has been put on ice until they get on the instructions of David Entry. Until they get uh, the express so, response. So Randy, which media house, which neutral media house? runs an interview of a political party, <laughs> finishes the piece, and says that I'm going to play it to the opposition for them to respond to it before I air. Is that, that how you run? That, that could be done. If, 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 in the, if in the view mm -hmm. of the, first of all, it's not live. Even if it's live, the issue of a rejoinder and all those mm -hmm. things come up. If it's not live, the editor reserves the right on the basis of the content of that interview. To say that, look, there are some legal ramifications or there are some ethical considerations. I think that I can only run the story side by side, the other view. That no. will be an. an, an would you, would an, you go an and play? No. Manny, you are yeah. senior, would you go and play the mm. other person's tape to the, to the respondents to respond? No, I have, I have this story. I want your. Fantastic! I want your. Hold on. I have this story. Mm -hmm. I need your response to the story before the issues yes, yes before you, you I, don't go and play the, the 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 recording of the general secretary of the mpp to the M, uh, ndc to the mpp and say these are the issues he's raised respond if you are doing i'm not a trained journalist except you're telling me that yeah, that's what there's, journalists there's do. nothing but, wrong no, no there randy, will be nothing wrong with that randy randy there's everything wrong why if you came to me yes and i granted you an interview yes and the discussion with me was, you want an interview on the elections. Yes. And I tell you what my position, the position of my political party is. Yes. Then you take my recording yes. without my permission. And go Why do I need your permission? Ah, because I gave it to you to air. I didn't give it to yeah, you, but you see, to go and show to my see, opposition. The response, what, what you forget, Sam, what you forget is that mm -hmm. when I air that interview, yes. I am also responsible, although you are the person who spoke, mm -hmm. For airing that interview on my network, yes. I am also responsible for the things that you have said. Yes. That is how come when there's a lawsuit, <laughs> you are not the only person who will be the sued media because house you said. Uh -huh. So on the basis of that, the media ha house reserves the right to say that, look, analyzing what has been said, I think that I need to get a response of the other side before right. I go it seems you're not to getting, press you're not getting the, the point. To get a response, and there are several times I have gotten a call that says, so so and so has made these comments. We want you to respond to it. Okay? They don't bring me a recording of their conversation with that person. Maybe, that is yet to maybe end. You, maybe you don't ask for. Others will say that if you say that this person has said this and that and that about me, please furnish me with that so that i can react appropriately there are people who do that no randy and it will be within their rights that, that's, not how, well, well, that's not how ghana web has operated <laughs> okay that's another but, that's, that's not, not how they operate but, but, and, and, and for me i i think that i owe it to the ghanaian people as part of our oversight responsibility over the media and the ministry and its agencies to ensure that when there are such shifts in ownership 
that affect editorial policy. People ought to know. And you see, Randy, let me be clear here. Let me be very clear. I mean, for me, if it is true, hold on. For me, if it is true that a politician yes. has bought Ghana Web. Yes. And the ownership of Ghana Web is now with a politician. Yes. For me, that is news enough. Yes, and that's the point I'm No, making. for me, that is news enough. Yes. It's news, it will be news anywhere in the world. If that happens, if there's that transition and you have a situation where it's like saying that tomorrow um, um, a Japan Mesa has become the owner of Metro, Metro TV. TV. It's news. Yes. Yes, it's news. And, so and, for me, and that's the point I'm making. And, 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 and what? I, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, you see, no, no, you see uh, uh, that, that's, that's the point I was going to make. So you are, you are urging I, your I am, supporters am, not to I go am, on Ghana Web anymore. I make the point here. I make the point here. I think he no, no. succeeded Listen. in doing what he wants. Randy, I make the point very simply <laughs> yes. that I am not against media houses having a political inclination. I'm not against them. Okay. Ah, really. Does that mean that you don't have a problem with politicians owning media houses? We've, we, we, we are there. What you have said is different from the issue of ownership. Yes. Uh, you see, it's a different thing, a politician owning the media house. Yes. And it's a different thing, the media the, the house saying that we are center-left, yeah. center-right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, is, it is known yeah. where Fox stands mm -hmm. and where CNN stands. I don't have a problem. But where Fox stands is it. because the owner of Fox mm. stands to the right. Can, can I Can I? Can <laughs> I? Is because the owner of Randy. CNN stands with the left, but, but they are not politicians. So, so the ownership, they not, so, they not so the ownership is important. Absolutely. Okay. So I Randy, don't have any difficulty Randy, at all. Okay. But I am. I, you see, anybody. So I guess the see. point some judge wants us to know is that for all of us who thought that Ghana Web was owned by a foreigner who had no interest in Ghana's Ghana. politics, it has changed. It's changed. That's, I think that's the point. It's it changed. The, all the run, 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 it has went. changed. And that now Ghana Web, Ghana <laughs> Web has an interest in Ghana's politics and the outcome of the politics. Okay. The same way when, when anybody listens to Radio Gold, they listen to it with a certain subconscious bias. Mm. The same way when you listen to uh, uh, Oman FM mm. or Asasi, mm. you listen to it with a certain bias. Mm. It is the same way I'm saying that when we listen to certain media houses, when, when they listen to Metro, Everybody runs it without a bias. Mm -hmm. Well, there are NDC people who say that you are NDC. Mm -hmm. There are NDC people who say, uh, uh, good evening, Ghana. What's his name? Mm -hmm. um, the Christmas tree guy at airport company. What's his name? Kara? You know his name, so no. stop that. Uh, uh, you know his Paul, name, Paul, stop Paul, that. Paul, yeah. Paul. Yeah. Uh-huh. There are people who say Paul is MPP. Mm -hmm. So everybody says Metro has balanced it out. In the mm -hmm. morning, NDC. In the mm -hmm. evening, MPP. Mm -hmm. It is fine. Mm. But when we try to mask it under a certain cloud of neutrality, mm. we owe it to the Ghanaian people to let them know mm. that there is no neutrality at Ghana Web. And that's the point I tried to make. Mm. All right, okay. So I just went from Ghana Web. Yes. The story, to, story that I pulled up, it says source, bbc.com. Yes. So if it's from Asasi Radio, it will cite the source. If it's from Metro TV, yes. it will cite the source. Yes. So what, what, no, what really is your Ghana Web also runs its has, own has stories. That's that why you don't know. Has that function changed? No, Ghana Web runs its own yeah, stories. Uh, I've been yeah. interviewed by some... Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, they have a reporter in uh, parliament. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on.